could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in Swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good Kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first holiday makeup tutorial for 2015. This one is a Christmas inspired look and for Christmas day we of course want our foundation to last all day. So I am first priming with Napoleon Perto's Auto Pilot Primer and then following up I am going in with the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and I am in the colour Cashew Beige um, of this foundation and as you can see it's got a nice yellow undertone to complement my olive skin tone. Oh that was quite a mouthful then. Now going in and filling in my brows using the Sigma Beauty Medium Brow Powder and then following up with that I'm using this Maybelline Brow Mascara and I'm going to do most of this off camera because you guys have seen me do it about 10,000 times and you probably don't want to be watching it again but yeah filling them in and then brushing that gel through and then it will be time to work on the eyes. Now as per pretty much all of my glam tutorials, I'm starting off with a piece of tape on the outside of the eye. This is going to frame and shape the eye and it's also going to give us a nice stencil whereas to work our shadows and eyeliner up against. First just quickly priming the eye using the, no surprise here, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the colour Painterly. Now to prep the eyes for all of the blending that we're going to do, I'm first taking this cream eyeshadow. This is one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Shadows and it is called Lace. Now as you can see, I'm not really doing too much exciting things here. I'm working that one backwards and forwards all the way across the lid just to set down the primer. I'm now taking Orange Soda again by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm working that one sort of more directly through the crease. This is going to be our transition shade. It's going to warm this area up and make blending over the top easier. Now to really get the colour in this look, I'm using the new amazing Makeup Geek Duochrome eyeshadows. This really dark olivey green one is called Secret Garden and just on a small shader brush, I'm working that one on directly the outer corner of my eye, creating quite a V shape on that outer section. Coming up and over the top of the crease and then working it also on the inner portion of the eye. Essentially this is going to be a spotlight smoky eye and when we create these we need to leave the center part of the lid free of any darker shadow because we want to put a nice bright green in there instead. Now just using a smaller detailing brush I'm just sort of going back in really building up that color packing it on and then also repeating what we've done on the upper lash line on the lower lash line and then finally we want to take a nice clean blending brush with absolutely no product on it and work that one backwards and forwards through the crease to really buff out those colors. Now for the beautiful goldy green on the center of the lid, I am taking Typhoon. Oh, this color does things to me, I'm telling you. And as you can see, I am working it directly on the center portion of the lid there. And then going back in with that detailing brush with no additional product and sort of just blending the two edges of the darker green and the lighter green together so that it is nice and smooth and seamless and that there are no harsh lines. Now again, onto the lower lash line, just working that same lighter green on the inner part. And now we're gonna go in with the eyeliner. Now I tell you guys this all the time, eyeliner is totally optional but I'm a little bit excessive so I tend to always include eyeliner in all of my eyeshadow looks but like I said it's up to you if you want to ditch the eyeliner you completely can ditch it or you could even do a different type of eyeliner just depending on what you want to do. I'm going for a nice big thick bold dramatic as ass wing <laughs> and um, yeah basically just using my all-time favorite Inglot black AMC gel eyeliner to do this. Now once I'm finished with my wing we can now remove the tape and look at that it's like you're a pro at eyeliner if you always do tape first I promise you that. Now, a little bit of this, I know this looks totally awkward on camera, apologies about that. Um, working that black gel eyeliner through the waterline. And then I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of mascara. This is the Maybelline Sensational Mascara. I love it and I especially love the packaging. And then finally to finish off the eyeshadow portion of the eyes, I am taking Shimmer Shimmer again by Makeup Geek and I'm popping a tiny little bit of this on the brow bone. I'm not exaggerating when I say tiny little bit because 
this stuff is really pigmented and you don't want your brow bone hollering at you from the moon you want it just subtly highlighted now i'm taking these beautiful lashes by Esquito, and i'm so sorry i cannot for the life of me remember what the name of these are but i will link them down below they were gorgeous very very comfortable to wear as well and yeah eyes are done now let's do thy face first up i'm taking the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer now this was actually my first time using this product and i have to say i am pretty impressed with it it does a really really great job of correcting any colors underneath the eye sort of any dark under eye circles or even any fallout from the eyeshadow that you've used corrected it really really well and i was really happy with the brightening result that it gave me now to contour and set all of the makeup on my face in place today i'm using the Aesthetica Contour Kit. This is their powder contour kit and I'm just, oh, it, it's up there with all of my favorite contour kits. It's amazing. Now taking that really light bone yellow shade from the palette, I am working that one underneath the eye areas and sort of also down the center of my face in other places where I like to highlight. Now for the rest of the face, I actually just set it using a translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Great setting powder for oily gals. And then to contour, I'm taking the Aesthetica palette again and I'm just using that medium sort of cool tone brown on the center of the palette there. Now you guys once again know the drill. I am just sort of using this one to more so warm up the face and add a little bit of structure and shape to the face as opposed to a really bold harsh contour I really wanted the eyes to be the main focus of this look so yeah just some nice soft contouring around the outsides of the face now I am skipping blush and skipping straight to highlight I am taking the Gerard Cosmetics Audrey powder highlighter <gasps> Oh, this has got a beautiful gold sheen to it. Perfect for the holidays. And once you are all blingy and highlighted, that is the face complete. Now moving on to the lips, I am first taking lip option number one because I thought I'd mix it up for you guys. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Aphrodite. As you can see, it's like a really beautiful apricot based nude. More wearable, um, definitely with this eyeshadow look. If you're not really into bold eyes and bold lips, then this would be perfect. And I love that it's more of a warmer tone nude. It really sets the eyes off and really complements them quite a bit as well. And then for the second lip option, again, this is Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Immortal. <gasps> Oh, the red just, it's perfect. The red, the green, the gold, the glow. To me, this screams Christmas. Now, for any of you that are wanting to try these Gerard Cosmetics products, they are absolutely amazing. You can use the code JOY and that will get you 25% off the entire website and they are currently running free international shipping. So yeah, happy holidays to you all. I hope you'll have a beautiful Christmas and safe Christmas with your family. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next holiday video, which will be Vlogmas tomorrow. Bye. Awkwardly in there for you at the minute. Oh my God. Um, hopefully nobody catches me vlogging because it's so awkward. But yeah, basically um, I'm jumping back in my car. I'm going to go home now and then I'm coming.